What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shan Times. What's up? What's up? And LeVon Maynard. Welcome to the show. What is going on? So, I mean, all the episodes where I messed up the uh, intro, I almost messed up that time, though. <laughs> Look, you know what? I was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking that. So this is like the second time in like a month right like so yeah. the one like two weeks ago <laughs> you went all the way through i was i didn't want to jinx it before you got to the last one, but i was like okay he got it he got it man i almost messed this one up I'm like like jay-z over here man put 50 ground first take <laughs> but um thank you for for tuning in throughout the week so monday and tuesday were our topics uh we talked about um how aws conference um discuss bringing more people of uh, diverse backgrounds into cybersecurity and some of the ways they could possibly do that. Uh, Tuesday, we talked about um, Cyber Texas Taiwan uh, during and after um, Nancy Pelosi's visit to uh, to the island. Um, it is an island, right? I'm not tripping. They're surrounded by water. <laughs> there might be a peninsula that sticks out. I don't know. Is it a peninsula? Oh, no, no, I don't know. No, I don't know. No, they, so the island, self- yeah. Yeah, yeah so okay. yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to mess it up. Though. I ain't like, oh, I'll tune <laughs> off this, shut this episode off. Um, but they're self self governed um, nation, and China uh, believes that they still belong to China, right? So they did not like Nancy Pelosi's visit. Um, so definitely tune in for that one. Uh, Wednesday we discuss uh, the traffic light protocol, so TLP, and how it is being uh, expanded for. Um, uh the disclosure of cybersecurity um vulnerabilities and threats so tune in for that uh no ask a p sis p thursday but i did have one uh a week or two ago two weeks ago with skylar hunter um he is a script kitty working his way towards being hacker definitely tune in for that um really good discussion with him and then today is the weekly rundown we talk about everything but cybersecurity so i i did not study or learn well i did learn about tlp so dang broke my street <laughs> always learning something right Cybersecurity, you're always you're always processing or learning something new but i'm trying to not study for nothing right now i gotta take a break um so we talk about movies books video games all that good stuff on this show uh so with all that being said how's everybody's week yeah, mine was pretty good i can't complain i got a chance to check out the uh check out prey i thought that was that was really good that they did a great job on that I, i'm not sure as much which I would change about that movie, generally speaking. I think it's very well made. I think they had some good, uh, uh, good action in there. Uh, yeah. I think like the act, actors, actresses were very good. They were very believable. Uh, I like seeing some Native Native American. I think they, you know, I'm assuming that they were Native. They actually had like Native uh, American um, blood in them, or they were actually. Uh, they, they were. Uh, yep. Yeah. 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 They, yeah, they, they, they said there's the no appropriation in the movie. Like the the language, yeah. the people, everything was um, factual, genuine. Yeah, I appreciate that too. I, and it kind of makes you think about, I, I told you guys about this show a while back, but it's called uh, Reservation Reservation Dogs. Yeah, I think it's called Reservation Dogs. It's on mm-hmm. Hulu too. Uh, it's a good series. It's uh, about some Native American uh, kids. Uh, they, just, they came out with a new season to start it up. I haven't got a, got a chance to check it out yet, but uh, I'm definitely gonna, gonna, gonna catch that one as well. But uh, but Back to Prey, man, it was, it was really good. I think they had to, you know, uh, the director did a phenomenal job. Um, try not to reveal anything, no spoilers. Right, but, uh, right. It's kind of interesting to see, like, you know, uh, what you think is like a native culture that uh, that may not have all the te- technological technological advancements like they had in the Predator movies to be able to fight this space alien um, right. and do a be- you know do a great <laughs> job with it uh, and actually you know put up a good fight. Uh, so I was really impressed with that. I also took some time out and actually went to see uh, Bullet Train, the movie, uh, in the theater just earlier today. And I really liked okay. that movie. It, it was um, uh, good action. I would say it's like, it's not super, I mean, maybe it's not as much action as I expected, but it has some great, like, dialogue. It kind of reminds me of like okay. a Kill Bill. I'd say like a Kill Bill. If you, you've seen Kill Bill. Yeah, it looks, like, it looks like Kill Bill, yeah. It looks like yeah. a Kill Bill meets, like, like uh, nonstop. Was that the Liam Neeson movie with the train? I don't think I saw that one, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 So I'm uh, seeing that at five. So I'm going to see it today. Yeah. Nice. 
it definitely has like a kill bill kill bill vibe to it um okay uh not as like crazy as quentin tarantino like his like cut scenes and all that kind of stuff but definitely like uh that the atmosphere a lot of you know japanese influence is all throughout right uh and they got some like samurais and stuff in there but uh okay uh, and has some good 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 uh uh what do you call them like uh, cameos and surprise like stars that pop up in there um okay there's some, some pretty funny scenes but I, I enjoyed the movie uh pretty much the whole way through um besides that i've been watching this another this other series on uh apple tv called invasion um and it's basically like it sounds like it's pretty much like some, some sort of alien invasion but it's yeah. uh i don't know if you've seen it already or not but it's uh so i've seen season one and season two out no, this is the first season. Uh, this, oh, yeah, okay. it's the first season. This yeah, first so I, I finished season one. Okay, and I, I I've been enjoying. It. I'm only on. I'm not only, but I'm on episode uh, eight now. But uh, it's uh, it's been pretty entertaining to me. It's pretty pretty. Uh, you know, I feel like it's pretty well directed. It seems like it's got a pretty good uh, uh, what do you call it? Like production value. Um, they got some pretty pretty good actors and actresses in there. But I've uh, been enjoying that, and. Um, Halfway through, I'm almost finished with uh, Ratchet and Clank on PS5. I got okay. uh, maybe the last couple of worlds, but uh, my wife got me uh, the New Horizon, uh, Forbidden West, or whatever it's called. Uh, okay, she got me that as a, a surprise gift, so uh, might hop into that one after I finish up the Ratchet and Clank. But that's been my my primary uh, activity for the last week here. But uh, I'll turn it over to you, Shannon. What you been What you been up to, man? Man, you know, I you know, I ain't been on a video game in a minute, man. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't touched that in a while. Um yeah. but uh pray, I did watch pray, I did like it. Um yeah, top, like Ryan was saying, he was offline, top three, top three for sure. Okay. Top three, yeah. Top three. Um it did it did kind of go closer to the first one, right? Than all the other ones that came after it. It kind of modeled itself after that, uh, I would say. Not exactly, but it was closer to that, which everybody seems to like the original, right? Not too many people don't yeah don't like the first Predator movie. But yeah, it was it was interesting. Um what else did I watch? Um I watched this movie with Dave Bautista. It's an older movie. Well, four years old. Uh, final score was the name of it. I thought it was gonna be better than okay. this. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was so so. <laughs> straight straight to DVD. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's kind of like it was kind of like uh, what was the one with Michael Jai White where he was the security guard in the basketball stadium. Uh, oh man, hmm. I'm not sure about that. Oh. Overtime or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, like that. yeah. It was. It, it was kind of like that. You know what I mean? Very missable. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I, I'm like, okay, I, if I see if I see Drax in something, like, I mean, they had fight scenes right. and all that, but it was like, ah, this is poor, poor stunt work. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right. It's it's whatever. Um, what else did I watch? Uh, I watched. I started watching Band of Brothers. I've only watched the first episode because I've got people at work that have told me, oh, it's the best thing ever, and I'm like. First episode didn't really do it for me, right? But I'm not a big war movie buff either, though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't watch them gotcha. because I know Hollywood, Hollywood's it up. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, ah, that's not what, that's, that's not how the story should be told, I guess, right? Wasn't, wasn't Tom Hanks involved in it? In Bad so Brothers? Executive, executive producer. It was, it was his, uh, it was his production company, I think. Play, okay. Play tune or tune, something like that. Yeah, because it, because it gets, like, the, the battle scenes are super gritty. Yeah, I, right. and I don't so, know, maybe. go ahead. I was gonna say, so that that might be what you're waiting for, like, like that's the Tom Hanksness. <laughs> He's like, I want it to be as I want you to be in the war. So I, I and <laughs> right. I like those portions of it, like, but it's like very gritty. I remember some dude getting his because people's hands get shot up a, like a lot. <laughs> so I guess statistically that happens a lot. So yeah. like it happened on the show. It's like, oh, yeah. I don't know. I like I said, I've I've only watched the first episode, and it was uh, right before they dropped in the in the the end of that episode is when they go to drop in in Normandy, right? So right, it will will have some more after that. But yeah, I'll, I'll watch I'll watch some more and see what what it does for me. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, and then I'll have everybody at work be like, "You're not American," you know? You, <laughs> right? You didn't like right. Band of Brothers, but uh, maybe I don't know. But um, yeah, I haven't. What, what else did I watch? 
uh, I watched the Bill Burr comedy special. We actually talked about that last week, didn't we? But yeah, that was hilarious. right. And him, him, and him and his friends versus him by himself. Yeah, the one by himself yeah. was live at Red Rocks, which I didn't even know he came out this way. I didn't even know, like, it never got any run. But uh, right, it was like last year sometime he was out here, so it was a little delayed from when it was released from when he showed up because I think it was like October of 2021 or something like that. Right. But uh, yeah, that was yeah. We did talk about. It may that not be. It may not be well advertised because he he comes to everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no group yeah. felt safe yeah. advertising he was coming. <laughs> <laughs> we did we did talk about that though because you were talking about how he might get kind of he might get canceled or something like that right we were talking about because he goes after some yeah. some groups he goes after everybody yeah. so i mean as long as you're equal yeah right? everybody can equally get it from yeah. from bill burr so. and, he's, and he's funny about it right it's not just yeah. dumb it's not like michael richards just pointing up in the rafters spitting out splur spl- uh, slurs or anything like that you know right like, no, nah, that's just not funny, dude. But uh, but I didn't like Seinfeld either, so maybe I just didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh um yeah, I didn't really I didn't really watch too much this week, um, to be honest with you. Um just trying to think of the stuff that I did watch. Um, yeah, not a lot. Not a lot of TV watching. That's about that's about the only thing that's worth reporting, to be honest with you. I did gotcha. rewatch. So, I, did, I did rewatch Coming to America. I don't know why I was just in the movie. <laughs> just because class. Like, yeah. you don't need a reason. Yeah, yeah, no reason required. <laughs> you don't need a reason. Yeah. It's just hilarious. What do you think about Prey though? Not top three, man. Like it was it top was, three. Like, okay. Yeah, I would. I would definitely say the first one, Predators, the one where they dropped them on the planet. On the planet, yeah. yeah this one yeah that's that's probably my order for the top three and that's with all of them right because there's we were, we were talking about this before i think it's like seven of them right to include the alien yeah. versus predator ones um i think it's seven there's a lot them. yeah there's a, so, there's a lot yeah it was it was it was top three for me um something that was a little something if, if i had a complaint um like they kind of did the i don't know if it's that they knew english or if they were just not speaking comanche the whole time and then they go to english so that we are right it's it's like um the warrior like they they start off in their language yeah. and then it transitions to english but they did it at different times throughout the movie right it's not like so like if you've ever seen hunt for red october they start out speaking mm-hmm. russian right and then like they zoom in on the mouth and it's all english from there on out it was no more russian right after. but like in this in this one every once in a while there'd be more you know comanche and then come back out right of if you're gonna do because yeah, i don't think they i don't think they knew any english i don't think they had because it's it's 1719 right yes i don't believe i don't believe they had that much exposure like because uh but what what was weird though was the french never switched to english except for the one yes. guy it was because the one- he spoke multiple languages though so i think he was speaking comanche to them right but they represented in english so yeah that's a little confusing right because no. uh like yeah, the, the french never jumped to english except for the one guy but he was like but he says like i speak multiple languages yada 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 yeah, but I don't think at any point were they speaking English because I don't think they they were exposed to it yet. Nope. So, but but I think that was them just trying to not overwhelm you with subtitles. I think is what they were going for. Maybe they have a Comanche version out there though. Like if you go and you look, uh, there's another mm-hmm. version. This Comanche version. It's like oh okay, so it's probably hmm. Comanche on all of that. Yeah, the whole way through. Title. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how they did that then. Did they shoot it twice? They get the oh, I, think, like, I, I, I think it's just a dub. It's more than likely it's just a dub. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's, it's, I was going to say, like, because there wasn't a lot of dialogue, like, in comparison. I don't believe so. Like, did they talk a lot? Because I don't think they talked a lot. Uh, like, I don't remember it being a dialogue heavy movie. You're kind of right, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, I thought it was too though. It was definitely my top three. I would I would say um the same same as you, like Predator the original, just because it's a classic. Um CGI doesn't hold up too well, but <laughs> the the action holds up uh the dialogue and the one-liners, obviously, right? Um make it hilarious. But then yeah, Predators, I remember that just being like super action heavy and gritty. And then uh Prey. Prey was actually, I, I really enjoyed it as well. I thought it was really good. Um I, I didn't know how it was going to go because I was like, mm. like, because every movie with a predator, they're always 
overpowered, right? Like they always have more tech than everybody else, but we, we make a way. I was like, we go back 300 years, he's going to run through these people. And they didn't. I was like, okay. Like they're also 300 years behind, right? So I was like, okay. I liked, I liked how they did that. It was very, um, very well um, thought through. Like, okay, what would a predator have 300 years ago? Um, and then they, they, the action was actually really good too. Like the, 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 it was a scene with the, the bear and there was a scene with the war chief. When the war chief went off, I was like, okay, okay, war chief. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I thought it was um, really well done. I would actually watch it again. Like um, I'll add it to the rotation once I get Hulu. Like, so I'm really surprised it didn't come to theaters because I think it would have made some good money. I don't know why they, why they had that decision. Um, maybe because of COVID pushed it or something. Um, or maybe it was just to get people in the door. Like that was definitely get some Hulu subscriptions because they, they, you know, they got a, a good original movie on there. Maybe that was the, uh, the thought process. But I, I did enjoy it. Um, a really quiet week. Like, so I, I really was chilling this week. Um, I do plan on seeing Bullet Train. So, so after after this, I'm gonna do all the episodes, get them all um, ready for to be published, and then nothing else. Like I think I'm gonna go bowling. Like, bowling only lasts an hour, right? Like nobody can bowl more than <laughs> three games, <laughs> right? And the third game is always the worst. And then, um, uh, yeah, then I'm gonna go see Bullet Train. So I'm excited to to, to see that in theaters. And um, this week. Uh, I think we talked about last week. Did I, did I, did I tell you I finished Terminal List? Oh, no. I think you said you were going to start it. Yeah. You okay. Know. Yeah, I'm done with it. I, first, first night I watched six episodes. And I was only planning on watching two. <laughs> first episode, I didn't like it. To be honest with you. I was like, ah, I see where this is going. It's going to be like The Fugitive. And then it is not. I was like, oh, okay. And then next thing I know, it's like midnight. I'm like, I got to stop watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> I want to finish it though. And then the next day I watched the next two episodes. I thought it was really good. Um, I really did enjoy it. So but if you're just starting it, I would I would suggest um definitely getting through it. Um I can't think of any negatives for the show. Like just the first episode was kind of slow. And I you kind of think you know where it's going, but it doesn't go that way. So I I, I really did enjoy it. Uh highly recommend it. And then I watched an anime off a of whim. Uh, I was flipped through HBO Max and I saw um, there's an anime called Belle. So B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, like um, beauty in, in French, Belle. Um, was not what I was expecting. And it actually was really good. But I think it was more of those because I had no um, expectations going in to situations where I was just pleasantly surprised. Um, think if Beauty and the Beast was Japanese, and an MMO. <laughs> the, the combination sounds weird. It works. I don't know why. <laughs> no, that combination if sounds weird. If you're an anime fan, it works out <laughs> really well. But yeah, I watched, I watched that and I was like, man, it's really good. Um, so I, I suggested it to a few people. And then Pray. That's pretty much it. And I'm going to watch Bullet Train. So not, not the most boring of weeks, but no games. I tried playing, um, what I cut on? I cut on Trek to Yomi, and then it stayed on the pause screen for the rest of the day. Like I was like, I'm gonna jump on this, and I didn't. <laughs> um, yeah. Just just didn't have it in me. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Um, I wanna play Stray, but I don't, I can't get my PS4 to act right. So I might have to wait mm. till I get home. Um, you have to get that PS5 out there. Tell man. your family to send it, send it to you. I don't trust it. I don't trust they'll make it. Um, right. So I just got to wait. But I think it's the free game or whatever. So I got to tell my my son to download it um, and then not play it. <laughs> download this for me. Don't touch it. Um, I think it's, I thought it's included like on one of the elevated uh, subscription plans, like the, I think it's like the premium or the, okay. you know, that they have the tiers now with the PS. PS so plus. I have no clue what I have. I just I I pay oh, okay. whatever I was paying before. So that mean does that mean I have the? the It'd be the essential, the, which is like the wood wood tier. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wood. exactly the wood. <laughs> <laughs> you got like the blades of blades of grass tier, like yeah. Going in the like, I don't know what I have right now. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> yeah, because they, <laughs> they have like three different tiers now. <laughs> and uh, you have to have the second tier to get like some of the uh, the download, like the, yeah, be able to download the games. Uh, and then the next okay. one is like you get to play some of the, the old school ones and you can stream them like the, the third tier. Got you. So I, I don't know if I'm going to play any of the backwards compatible stuff. I don't know if I'm going to get the premium tier or not. I got I to gotta look into it. Because I, I say I was going to do that with my one of my Xbox. I never played anything old. Like I did for like the first week when I got Game Pass. So I was like, oh, I can play, you know, I don't know, Turok or something like that. And then you play them and you're like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't hold up. Yeah. They look better. They look better. But I'm like, nah, they don't. They don't play too well, right? You lose those quality of life. Like, have you, have you tried going back to play Goldeneye? I used to love mm. Goldeneye. Right, like, right. But it's been to a go while. back on a, yeah, go back on an N64 and play it, it is yeah. horrible control-wise. Right. Yeah, yeah. It always did have some funny controls, especially with the, yeah, yeah like the, little, the, uh, the middle, yeah, you had the middle. <laughs> the middle, <thumbstick>. yeah. <laughs> and then you just that's, have, like, that's your aim, buttons. but it's not yeah. moving your head. It's just right. moving the, is this moving the uh, cursor? It's terrible yeah um so i don't know if i if i'll actually go back and play like metal gear metal gear solid all that stuff um but I, I'll, I'll look into it right because i've been paying monthly and i know that's a big waste of money compared to just paying for the annual subscription um so i'll probably look into that um but it's, yeah it's nothing i really want to play like um I, i'm in the mood for an rpg but there's just not one out there that i want to play right now like um persona i want to play persona 4 but I don't think it dropped yet. Um, and then even, even if it does drop, my PS4 just can't run anything right now. Like it, it won't even pull an update. So yeah, I got the, uh, the original from 2013. So like, I think it was November 5th, 2013 is when it dropped, if I'm not mistaken. But I got the day one, sounds like um, a Harrier taking off uh, <laughs> the tarmac. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> disgusting and it just have you ever, doesn't run well. Yeah. Have you ever taken that thing like at least somewhat yeah. apart and try to spray it out, or, like blow it out? So yes. Like, press the air and things like that. Oh, and it'll sound it sounds okay like it. for like a day. And then as yeah. soon as I play anything intensive, like a God of War or something like that, it's something that's gonna explode. And I don't have the physical separation I'll have in, in my uh real home, right? So like it's like right there next to me. So all I can hear is the fan. Hmm. It's Dang. like <laughs> <laughs> Like it's not not an enjoyable experience so yeah but speaking of which you excited about that god of war coming out in november I'm looking forward to Very. that one. and i'll i'll be i'll have the ps5 i'll be back on a big screen super yeah. excited um makes me kind of want to play um the last one i don't know if you call it the first one because it's not the first one right but <laughs> it makes me want to play that one the ps4 god of war i want to play that again right um to, to get ready but I got a, a huge backlog, right? I still had to get through Horizon, the first one at some point in my life. Um, Ratchet and the Clank, I got it, but uh, I literally bought it with the system. I got to play it when I was home for like a week. So I got to get through that. Um, it's a few other ones, but the backlog, oh, Stray. So my backlog is getting humongous. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, I've never played that because I've been waiting to play it on the PS5. So incredibly long backlog that i'm gonna drop to play god of war because i gotta play it in real time so <laughs> see i'm gonna be the exact opposite i'll, I'll let it marinate for a little bit i don't have to i don't have to rush i'm gonna <laughs> let it marinate and then i'll get again, i'll get to it when it's like uh 29.99 right right <laughs> 19.99 at walmart <laughs> Yeah, man. so <laughs> it comes out in November, so it won't have a Black Friday deal, I don't think, right? Like, that'd be too soon. Not typically, yeah. Come out think, with Walmart yeah. to knock off 20 bucks or whatever. I think by, by maybe by, like, early next year, they might have some sort of, it might drop in price, maybe like in, I don't know, maybe January, in January, February, maybe. Gotcha. So so it's I'm gonna, guessing. It's yeah. going to sell like hotcakes. They ain't going to drop the price anytime soon. Right, <laughs> right. 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 Yeah, they made the money. <laughs> like, we just right. Going by, we just going to be going past you, man. Be like, hey, <laughs> this, new, you, this new God of War and Son is the is the new hotness. Right. right. <laughs> this thing's fire. <laughs> you, should, you should hear how he's talking to Atreus this time. You know what I mean? Right, right, <laughs> yeah, right. Boy. 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 <laughs> boy. <laughs> Stop it, boy. Oh. I was going to comment too, like, uh, you'd be surprised. I, I, 
I can't remember the exact numbers, the statistics, but the the Last of Us Two, which is like you know really seen as one of the you know one of the best PS5 games, uh, yeah, PlayStation Five yeah. PS4 games. Um, it actually didn't sell as many copies as people like assume. Like I think it was maybe I want to say like eighteen million or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. When you, but it's because it's on one platform, right? So it's not like a, a Call of Duty on everything. <clears throat> Voice cracking. So I, I think they those are wins though, right? Because um, uh, what was it? Spider Man. When Spider Man crossed ten million, that was huge for Sony. Mm-hmm. They're like, they're like, but like that's nothing for Call of Duty, right? Because Call of Duty is on like everything. But I think if, even they were considering like just being on a single platform. They were saying that because at all. Considering the base, I think they were saying like there's, I don't know, X amount of consoles over, I can't remember the number. Right. I would say like 500 million or something like that, or like 300 million, yeah, something like that. Consoles that they have in the world. Uh, yeah, I think it was a hundred. How many PS4s were there? Like a hundred. Like they didn't hit 120 or 125 or something like that. I can't remember. But at one point they were saying like 10 percent of of uh, owners have these games, right? Like the attachment rate is super high. Um, I think it has to do a lot with the fact that they're kind of like, kind of single, like single player, and they like you play through it and you finish with it, and you probably you probably trade right. it in or you sell it. Somebody buys it used and stuff like that, uh, as opposed to like games like Destiny or God, Call of Duty, where you play it multiple times. You get the yeah. multiplayer facet, and everybody wants to have their own game so they can play it over and over again. Um, right. Right. But I, I was just surprised. I saw that pop up randomly in a, some sort of article talking about The Last of Us. So I was like, hmm, that's, that is kind of surprising. I thought that game would be, because I have a copy of it. I thought that was like, maybe be one of the better, better selling games that they've uh, they've released. So does that number right. not include the downloads? Like getting it from the Dude. place? Or not place or the, uh, I think they supposed to count everything, even the, the yeah, deal. I think, they, I think they count everything. Because because they're trying to boast how many they sold, right? But it, but it, even still, like you think, full price is seventy bucks. You sell ten million copies. It's almost a billion dollar game. And they mm-hmm. like, what do they put into it? Like maybe quarter of a maybe quarter of a billion. I don't know. I don't know how much games cost anymore. Like I know that the budgets are like ramping up so high. Like does a does a, a video game cost you a million dollars? Ten million dollars, hundred million dollars. I don't know what it, what the investment is um, in production, but you look at like at a, a Grand Theft Auto Five, and it's the highest grossing media product of all time, right? Because it sold hundreds of millions of copies um, at various levels, right? Like at fifty bucks. Like I, I paid for it twice, full price. I paid for it um, when it came out to the PS3, and I paid for it again when it came out on the PS4. Um, but you got to think people are also buying it for like 20 bucks or it's the game of the, the month or whatever. So they're making money off of the online component, stuff like that. Um, but regardless, I, I, I think they've more than made up the, the price of their uh, their production and advertising and all that stuff. Once they hit the, the 10 million um, uh, go on uh, that specific console. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely no no slouch. And definitely, it's plenty of money. They're making some big bank on that uh, on the sale of that game. So it's uh, either way, it's still a lot of money for the developers. But yeah, I think it's just uh, I don't know. I have to I have to find that article and kind of maybe re reexamine what they were making a fuss about because um, I don't know how they compared to maybe some other games that they released. Um, so I think the like the Uncharted's may have done better than uh, like The Last of Us. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know though. Well, because well, Uncharted has been sold multiple times too, right? Because it's the, the originals that we played, and then they came out again with a res, and then they came out in the collection. Um, so that that would be interesting to see how many copies they sold of that as well. <clears throat> but um, yeah, ten ten million though. I, I, anytime they pass ten million, they they boast about it. They're like, hey, we sold X on on just our console alone. Um, I think the only company with a higher attach rate is uh, Nintendo. Like usually, Nintendo games on Nintendo consoles uh, have a very high attach rate. They're like people have one console, but they have seven games, right? Uh, as opposed to some people just buy a PS4 and all they play is Madden, so they have like one game a year, maybe two if they buy Call of Duty. Um, That's usually me. So 
it'll be 2K <laughs> and oh, I'm serious. Like it'll be 2K and Madden, right? And then that'll be it. As a matter of fact, I think I think Madden's coming out this month, but I haven't even paid that much attention to it. Yeah, August. It usually comes out in August. But I haven't paid too much attention to it. But God of War, I jumped on that. I did. And then y'all put me on uh to uh well Levon put me on to uh Horizon. Horizon. Yeah, because he was talking about it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. what's up with this? But you had Spider-Man too, though, right? You had Spider-Man? Yeah, I so I had the original Spider-Man and the Miles Morales. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. That's good. Those are good games mm-hmm. too. Yeah, so you, you you ain't no slouch, you out here. I, yeah, but I'm you're ga- gaming your face off. Look at you, no, <laughs> true gamer. Some, somebody got to say something about it for me to get put on, right? Like I don't know, right. I, just, I don't know. Oh, we were talking about deals earlier too. I saw uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, the newest one, is on sale. At least it was on sale for like I want to say like forty bucks or something like that. Like it already oh, wow. dropped down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Even though I ain't gonna play it, I might I might have to pick it up before it goes back. Yeah. Home. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I got the uh, the PlayStation app on my phone, and they have like they have like the I think summer sales or something like that. And they probably could do that, and uh, it was up in there. But I'll double check it, make sure it's still on sale. Yeah, that's what I like about um, the Sony and uh, Xbox marketplaces. They have deals, right? Nintendo cuts you no slack. Like Nintendo right. is yeah. like <laughs> our games will be valuable <laughs> until forever. Yeah, they like, never drop um, in price never drop in price like every now and then you'll see like it'll be like five years later breath of the wild 44 dollars. you're like yo <laughs> that's that game should be bundled in something like why are you still selling to me but people still buy it people are still buying it for that price because it's, it's a nintendo game it's great yeah like they don't, they don't lose value so yeah suckers like me buy it full price out the gate <laughs> <laughs> out the gate but um yeah like they they don't miss though um i haven't bought a game my... yeah so i haven't Sorry, bought a game for my switch in a long time yeah i was gonna say i haven't bought a game kind of in general in a while uh i've been playing a lot of the game pass uh, on xbox yeah. but uh typically when i when i was buying games i was i actually typically just buy like i get them used i don't care about the i don't have to be like fresh in the box or whatever uh especially you know get a get a good price for them um yeah as, as, as long as they're not like, scratched up or some sort of damage to them i mean let's get the game and as long as it plays well it's nothing oh so you still that. you still get um this so i'm i'm the exact opposite like for nintendo games i'll get a uh i only go cartridge based because they don't lose value right so when i go to trade right. it <laughs> my my system plus games pays for the next system right um but um now with my other consoles, my Xbox, my my um my PS anything, PS3 until now, all digital. Cause I'm just like, well, when I go trade them in, the game stops gonna give me a dollar. So now I, I don't have to get out my seat, right? I can just flip to the game, play the game. Um, but yeah, you lose all the value. Like when I trade that console in, they're not gonna give me any credit for the games that were on it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna erase it twice. I'm gonna factory reset it twice before I give it to them. So I'm selfish like that. <laughs> you get yeah. nothing from me yeah. um unless i just hold on to it like so i kept the ps4 and then and the um the previous xbox because those, those were what I, what I was rocking out here so i might not even trade it in to be honest with you i might just keep them yeah nothing wrong with that yeah nothing wrong with that yeah i think the uh the last game that i bought was actually i did buy the um the dlc for um uh, cuphead how they came out okay and the reason i got that mostly was because i wanted to play it but also because i had a uh microsoft actually sends out gift cards or whatever like the um to xbox users like randomly send you like a oh, xbox right. i don't know if you've got them before like the microsoft store like gift cards or they're, they're added to your account like give right. you five dollars no, so ten dollars yeah yeah so i never got one of those but uh i got one from twitter i was uh like um the xbox account asked a question i answered it and they gave me a heart and then they gave me 25 bucks. Wow. I was just like, <laughs> random. Thank you. Dang. <laughs> it yeah. was like, thanks. Yeah, they um, gave me. But I, I don't know what to use it on. I got, because of Game yeah. Pass, right? So I was like, what yeah. do I buy with this gift card? Like, well, there's some, I don't know. Yeah. You can get like Elden Rings or something like that or some other game. That's one That's one game I had to consider getting at one point. But um, yeah, I could. I, could. I, I, I got to put it on my, I got to put it in my wallet. Uh, my digital wallet because it expires at the end of this month, right? They gave it to me like two yeah. months ago. Well, I've been sitting there waiting, like, what can I buy? Because Game right. Pass has so many games. It's like, 
right? <laughs> what can I do with yeah. this money? I could buy a controller, I guess. Wow. Yeah, that's what I, I needed. Yeah, yeah, that's why I ended up getting that DLC because the DLC was like, I think it was only like eight bucks. Uh, but I ended up using that. They gave me, I think they gave me about 20 bucks over the course of like a couple months. Uh, nice. And I was like, okay, damn. And that doesn't even count the, I don't know if you use like the uh, Xbox rewards or Microsoft rewards, or whatever. Like if you, you get points for doing things throughout the week. Like yeah. if you do, yeah. Uh, but I've, I've, never, like, I've never done it though. Like, so is it pretty oh, lucrative? Yeah, yeah. It, it's really, especially if you combine it with your, because uh, they do the same thing if you like use Bing on your, on your computer. But uh, right now I have like, I think like 70,000 points just kind of queued up. And that's enough Damn. to buy like a, a game. <laughs> uh, you said 70,000? Yeah, yeah, like 70,000. I wasn't expecting that number. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like 70,000. Uh, what are you reward points. So you, yeah, it's, uh, and you get like, because they do like, they might have a week or they might have like a, yeah, they have like, for, for example, they have an August special thing. Uh, you got to do like certain things for the, for the month which are like really simple things really. Um, but you get like 2000 points. Yeah. Um, which is I gotta, like, I gotta jump on this. Yeah, you should, uh, people should do it. I mean, if, if you're not already doing it, but it's like, uh, it's really like easy, kind of easy money. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. Um, okay. I see people online are talking about it. Like, you know, especially the more you, you know, the more you game, the more you search uh, on the web with Bing and stuff like that, you get a bunch of points that you can use for games and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Gotcha. I, I feel inspired. I'm going to look into this now because I, I yeah. always see the points that I have. I'm just like, man, what I do with those? But I'm nowhere yeah. near 70,000. Like I might have like a couple thousand. Yeah. Um, you should look at it because I mean, my <laughs> friend of mine used to joke about it at, at the job. We were talking about like, we're just going to quit our jobs and just use these Microsoft reward points. <laughs> we were getting like so, <laughs> so <live> many. <laughs> <laughs> we were getting so many. Could you really, it really adds up pretty quick. Like you don't, you're not going to have to do it like for a year then you can get like you know okay now i earn enough to get something like you you do it yeah. for like a, a month and you have enough to at least buy something or even put money towards yeah. something else uh and it's pretty you know i don't mean to be like be like a, a advertiser for the, for the program or anything, <laughs> but it's it's like it, it really is like pretty pretty useful especially if you're okay. i mean if you're no, not but, yeah that's what you say yeah i didn't i didn't know it was that lucrative yeah yeah that's what's up um Oh, I did think of the game. The last game I bought was Cyberpunk. Remember, I got it for ten bucks. Oh, right. The, uh, That's right. I did buy it. I never used it. I never played yeah. it until I haven't played uh, it. I got my Series X. <laughs> yeah, and I, I just couldn't get it into it. I couldn't get into it. But I think I, I think I ran into a bug, and I don't know how to fix it. It. I hopped in the car. I'm trying to find something. It takes me to. It's just like when uh, I love Apple, but Apple Maps had issues when it first came out. It would just take you to the middle of a bridge and be like, "You have arrived." Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't do it anymore. Apple it. It's really good. Apple no, is really no, good. I doubt now, it. I use it exclusively. No, no, <laughs> no, no. I use it exclusively. No, no, look, look, look yeah. Look, no, I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling you out on this, Brian. <laughs> I, I do. Used it, I used it the other day, and my wife was there to witness this. I don't know what Apple Maps was doing, but it was making really? me take these turns. Like it wanted me to go totally opposite, like from where my house was. Like it saw my house on the map. It had it marked, and it mm. wanted me to go away from it. <laughs> And I was like, I just need to make this turn here and then this turn here and I'm mm -hmm. home. It's it's, like, uh, it's it, it predicted the future. It was like, don't go there. There's a killer walking past your house. <laughs> it's like precog. It was like, nah, there's there's danger. Let's let's make three lefts when we could have made a right. <laughs> that didn't work out for Tom Cruise and minority report. So I don't right. want that. I don't it want saved that. your life, Shannon. Uh, maybe, um, maybe. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. <laughs> no, I doubt it too. Like, hey, Charles Barkley has a book. I think. I think the name of it is "I Might Be Wrong, But I Doubt It." Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty appropriate. Right. Might be no. wrong, but I doubt it. I haven't been home in a couple of years, so maybe it's fun. Like when I was there, it was sharp. Them two years, like two years ago, it was sharp. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just like it for the integration. Like, so like my thing is I um uniformed UI over I I don't know. Like I just like convenience. Like if I can do everything from one UI, I love it. Like, I want to do Google Maps on top of my iTunes music on top of yada yada yada. Might be a better combination. I don't care. All right, all Apple all day. 
maybe I wanted to stop in the middle of this bridge. Mm. <laughs> maybe, this, maybe this was my destination. I don't know. Apple's trying to put me on. Are you are you <laughs> are you Black Widow or something? Like you just trying to have fights on bridges? Right. They stop at the fight Taskmaster in the middle of this yeah, bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, how do we get here? Oh, Microsoft points. <laughs> <laughs> so, points yeah. But you do bring up a good point though. Like maybe there'll be a sale because um, uh, I'll add it to my wallet. Maybe like yeah, Elden Ring or something like that'll drop. I can I can pick that up. Um, that is a valid point. It's kind of what I've been waiting for. I went waiting for that to go on sale too. And I might use my points to pick it up or something. Got to use it. Got to use it for something. Right, right, exactly. And I and I might get back into Cyberpunk because I do want to play RPG, but I just I wasn't feeling it. And like I said, I'm a break, game game breaking bug because it keeps telling me to stop somewhere that's not a place I want to stop. Like there's nothing mm -hmm. here. So I was like, maybe it's underneath the bridge. There's not there's no underneath. I think it's just a bug. So I'll go back and try to work it out or something. But I think it pretty much wraps it up for this week. Um Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Devon. Thank you to all those who uh, listened to us throughout the week. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm starting to see more comments like on YouTube and things of that nature. So uh, definitely keep that up. Uh, let us know what you what you like, what you don't like, all that good stuff. Like feedback is feedback. We, we greatly appreciate it. Um, hit up all of our social medias. They all go by our name, the other side of the firewall podcast. Give me up personally. I'm at Rai Rai Security Guy. That's R Y R Y Security Guy. I'm on Clubhouse, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, and TikTok. And you, Levon? Yeah, you can hit me up on the Twitter. It's at LeVon Maynard. There it is. Stay safe. Stay secure. Take care.